Well, this morning we are in the kitchen with a mother daughter duo cooking up crepes, crepes with a Ukrainian twist. Joining us this morning is Jinya and Galena Semenkova with Tashka Crepes. Uh, Tashka, give us a little bit of background on the name because it's actually a very sweet name that you've chosen for your business. Yes, so Tashka means little bird in Ukrainian. That's why we have a logo of a little bird um, in, um, in our signature logo here. Um, we felt that Tashka represents family and something warm and beautiful. Aw, and this looks beautiful, this spread that you have here this morning. So what made you two both decide to go into business? We wanted to introduce United Tastes of Ukraine to the U.S. Um, we wanted to share our family recipes and we decided to start with Nalisniki, which is traditionally Ukrainian crepes with fillings. And you can do different fillings and we offer six different flavors. So Galena, you are making the dough right now. What's in the batter? Uh, this is mixed with flour, eggs, milk, little salt and sugar and blend. And this butter. <laughs> there you go. And then uh, once we get to this point, what? How do you roll these? How do you fill these? Yes. Yeah, so you take your scooper, and you you're welcome to try as well. Oh, so, thank you. Yep. So you take your scooper. Okay. What what is this? Is this? So those are cherry. Michigan's favorite Michigan cherry. Michigan cherry. Michigan cherry. There cherries. you go. Correct. Right. So you put it in the middle like this. Yep. And then take just one spoon off this homemade. Vanilla sauce. Yeah, you're, you're making right me. Uh, you're making me domesticated this morning. <laughs> anyway, so do you just put it next to or on yep, top? Yep, this of? is Did perfect. I do this right? Yep, okay, this is perfect. Okay, and then pick the side of this crepe right here. You want me to do it right here? Yep. Oh man, you're gonna make me. Oh yep. Okay. Yep. Perfect. And then roll this way, all the way to the middle. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Perfect. There we go. And now we're rolling the sides. So take one side, and now take the other side. That's perfect. And then just roll one, two, and you got a beautiful, beautiful oh crepe. Oh my Look goodness. At this. Thank you for you did teaching amazing. me how you to did do amazing. that. Yeah, I this feel like is this is like life lessons in crepes. Now I'm going to know how to fold my burritos <laughs> after this too. You got it all going on. So what makes a uh, Ukrainian crepe different from maybe your typical crepe where you would go out and go to breakfast and eat? Well, I think many restaurants, they represent French crepes that are yeah. um, very thin. Um, and the style of folding and the batter itself, that's what makes Ukrainian crepes stand out. Uh, but we figured that the whole process of making the crepe, making the filling, rolling it, it's time consuming. That's why we came up with a beautiful idea of having six crepes in a pack, fully cooked. So then when you're home, all you do is just remove the lid and put it in a microwave or oven just to heat it up and that's it. Oh, and very nice. And you beautiful breakfast dessert with fillings or toppings. So as top. far as the variety here, is this uh, a lot of savory, a lot of sweet, or do you have a good mix of both? We have a good mix of both. So we have three sweet flavors, cherry and vanilla, apple and vanilla, farmer cheese and raisins. And we have three savory options as well, mushrooms and cheese, ricotta cheese and spinach and cabbage and white beans. What's your favorite one? I love farmer cheese and raisins. Uh, it's just a very traditional Ukrainian filling. Um, and uh, from the savory ones, I just love mushrooms and cheese. I love mushrooms. Jelena, do you have a favorite? Um, maybe same. <laughs> same? Hey, like mother, like daughter. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, right? And it's my understanding, too, that through your business, not only have you been able to grow this business, you just started in February, grown it to over 20 different marketplaces in Michigan, which is so impressive, but you're also giving back to the people in Ukraine. Correct, absolutely. We partnered with United Help Ukraine, which is a humanitarian and medical relief fund. Um, and this way we said 10%. 10% of our proceeds to the fund to help Ukraine. And, and how exactly is that helping people overseas? Is that more just providing some relief in the middle of being in a war? The fund, Every day's needs? The fund uh, manages all the needs that are needed. They actually monitor which regions is in need of what supplies in that moment. So um, the proceeds are going directly to what's needed. For the, for the right city. And I'm sure you both still have family, friends, loved ones overseas. Correct. Currently, currently there. So, I mean, what, 
What a great business idea, a great effort. Where can people go to learn more and maybe order some for themselves? So we're already in uh, more than uh, 20 stores. The list of stores is there and can be found on our website, tashkacrepes.com. Our latest editions are Arbor Farms in Ann Arbor and Western Market in Ferndale. Um, and we're making first delivery on Monday. All right, Tashka Crepes, and it starts with a P. You told me, you've, you've taught me so much today. The P <laughs> is silent, so just so everyone knows when they're looking up the website, you taught me a very special skill. Uh, Mike Taylor, I'm putting a Ukrainian crepe folder on my resume. Your resume <laughs> is getting extensive out 